Thank you so much for volunteering to participate in this program. Your participation can help to improve your health and it could help to improve the health of others in the future. Quitting smoking can be very difficult, but with support and guidance, you can quit. Please enjoy this short video on the risks of smoking, the benefits of quitting, and the strategies that can help you quit. You can quit smoking. We can help. Most people know that smoking is unhealthy, but many don't know how bad it really is. Smoking is the leading preventable cause of death and disease in the United States, with an estimated 480,000 smoking-related deaths each year. Even those who smoke less than five cigarettes a day show early signs of disease. Smoking causes damage to nearly every area of your body. It puts you at increased risk for heart disease, stroke, blood clots, diabetes, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, infections, lung cancer, bladder cancer, colorectal cancer, liver cancer, throat cancer, various other cancers, vascular disease, arthritis, sexual performance issues, fertility and pregnancy problems, and dental, vision, and hearing problems. Not only does smoking affect your own health and well-being, it also harms those you love who are exposed to your secondhand smoke. A pack of cigarettes currently costs about $5. At one pack each day, that's over $1,800 in a year. Smoking a pack daily for 10 years would cost more than $18,000. $18,000 is a lot of money. What else could the money you spend on cigarettes be used for? There is good news. Quitting smoking at any age reduces health risks. There are also many options and resources that will make it easier for you to quit when you are ready. After you quit, immediate and long-term health benefits are gained. Breathing will get easier, you will have more energy, you will feel better, and your chances of getting sick will go down. The people around you will be healthier too. No one expects you to quit smoking overnight. This is a difficult and important process that takes consideration and effort. When preparing to quit smoking, it may help to make a list of your personal reasons to quit smoking. General examples include living a longer, healthier life, having healthier skin and teeth, looking and feeling younger, to help your friends, family, or coworkers, or to save money. Try to make your reasons specific to you, though such as to be healthy enough to watch my granddaughter graduate, to save enough money to fix my car or to buy birthday gifts next year, or to improve my breathing and to be freed from cigarettes. In order to quit, you will need support. After all, it's not an easy task, but you can do it. Talk to your healthcare provider about options that may be right for you. There are several medications that are proven to help people like you quit smoking. A prescription pill may be right for you, or you may want to look into getting over-the-counter nicotine gum or patches. Emotional support is also known to be very helpful during the quitting process. Professional counseling may be available to teach you coping skills and to help you stay motivated. Quitting with a partner also improves success. It is also important to tell your family, friends, and people you work with that you are quitting. Their support and encouragement is very important to your success. When you are ready to quit, set a quit date. Mark it on your calendar. Preferably, this date should be no further than two weeks away. This helps you to prepare and to get serious about quitting. Prior to your quit date, get rid of all cigarettes and lighters. Think about other times that you tried to quit smoking. What worked? What didn't work? Use these past experiences to help to improve your success. After your quit date, no more smoking, not even a single puff. Help from the Missouri Quit Line can make quitting much easier. The Quit Line is completely free and can be contacted at any time, all day, every day. Quit Line resources are now available over the phone, on the internet, and through a mobile app. Through the quit line, you will have a trained quit coach who will help you make your own plan for quitting. They will be able to provide help at any point during the quitting process. The quit line may also be able to provide you with nicotine gum or patches. 
The number for the quit line is also available on the handouts you received today. After quitting smoking, it can be very hard to stay quit. Stay motivated and always try to remember the reasons why you want to quit. Continue to use the ideas and resources you've learned about today. If you slip up, it's okay. Set a new quit date. It will be easier after you've already tried once. Try to avoid being around smoking, as this can be very tempting. Alcohol can also trigger relapse. Find distractions to get you through your cravings. Try to eat healthy food and stay active. Keep a positive attitude and stay motivated. Continue to follow up with your health care provider. It won't always be easy, but be proud that you are quitting. You can quit smoking, especially with the help from MSU Care and other resources. Thank you for viewing this video. The decision to quit smoking is one of the biggest steps in becoming the healthiest version of yourself. I encourage you to discuss the many options for quitting smoking with your provider, to think about good reasons to quit, to review the handouts that you have received, to use the many resources that are available to you, and to set a quit date within the next two weeks. If you slip up, it's okay. Set a new quit date and start from there. Remember, quitting smoking is hard work. Many people take several tries before they are successful, but you can do it.